Chameleon Carrier, the, this is a moving company that backs up a large number of complaints and bad reviews, and then it switches its name and starts all over again. WMER 2 News investigator Mallory Safaste has been keeping a record so you can stay informed, and she tells us about the latest reincarnation of a very active chameleon carrier and what's being done to stop them because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. When looking for a moving company, Janelle Menge put her info on a site and asked for free quotes. She found one. She felt good about her choice, but was contacted by another company who made her think twice. He called me and I was like, no, I have another mover booked already. And he's like, well, who is it? And he goes, they're a broker, not an actual mover. He followed up with an email highlighting the company's poor reviews, then sent a link to a Better Business Bureau rating. Not the F rating for the mover he worked for, Unified Van Lines, but a link to Unified Moving Services, another Maryland company with an A-plus rating. Menge didn't realize the two were different and was sold on Unified Van Lines. After talking to him, I finally paid the deposit and then I couldn't get a hold of him after I paid the deposit. So that's when I did the Google search and then your news article came up. Last month, we met with the general manager of Unified Moving Services, who said this imposter is hurting his business. A lot of people calling and complaining, to, uh, thinking that we were them, uh, that we found out they were giving our information as their company. Menj called to cancel the move and requested a refund of her nearly $1,000 deposit. I'm glad that I found it all out before they had my stuff and I paid them almost $5,000. Others weren't so lucky. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration launched an investigation into unified van lines. They suspended their moving authority in March, but business continued. So they set a date, demanded to inspect records, and said they would be at their Baltimore warehouse in May. But nobody answered. Can you just tell us what happens next or that you at least came here and... I'm sorry. I have to direct all the comments to our headquarters. The investigators left after 15 minutes, their hands as empty as the inside of the office. The next day, WMER 2 News was sent video of operations resuming at that very same location. Finally, a break in Springfield, Missouri. The Christian County Sheriff's Office raided a warehouse reportedly used by Unified Van Lines. Two arrests were made, but no charges have been filed. The Sheriff's Office is working alongside the FBI and trying to get a U.S. attorney to take notice. In the meantime, the man linked to Unified Van Lines, Presidential Moving, Public Moving Services, and a dozen other companies has landed with a new mover, Flagship Van Lines. Since that happened to us, I would not trust anybody else. I don't care if it's United Van Lines, anybody, I don't care. We hired U-Haul and we're just going to do it ourselves. The American Moving and Storage Association says companies like this one hurt the legitimate professional moving industry and they're urging the FMCSA to do everything they can to help these consumers. Now, Flagship Van Lines currently has moving authority. They're also offering lending services through their website and request personal information, including social security numbers for financing. The bank listed on the platform agreement says they have no connection to the lending company listed on Flagship Van Lines' site and they've sent a cease and desist assist letter. A manager with flagship van lines denies any connection to unified van lines.